Hello friends, my name is Kesiar Yuga Pratama. I'm from Tena Aircraft Electricity. Today, I want to retell a legendary story entitled The Legend of Crying Stone. Are you curious about the story? If so, please watch this video from beginning to end. Thank you. Happy watching. Once upon a time, in a small village in Borneo, there lived a poor farmer mother and her daughter named Darmi. Every day, the mother has to work very very hard to grow vegetables and to sell it at store, because her husband died. Darmi was very beautiful. Her long hair was so soft, thick, and beautifully loose, purified by the presence of bangs neatly combed down her forehead. But her behavior was far from good, very very far. She was very lazy and also spoiled. Every day, she just dressed up in front of the mirror. She never helped her mother work, but always busy dressing up herself every single day. She always wanted to look rich and beautiful. She didn't care about her mother's pain for work to get food. One day, her mother was very tired because there's too much vegetables. Then she asked Darmi to help her work in the field. Darmi, please help me work in the field, said her mother. No, I don't want to go to the field. I'm afraid my skin turns dark and I'll become ugly, said Darmi without looking at her mother. When her mother came home from work, Darmi asked for some money to buy new comb and beautiful tool because her comb was broke. But her mother ignored it because she didn't have the money. Darmi was very annoyed and she got really mad at her mother and chose to dress up herself. Because of pity, the mother tried to placate Darmi. She asked Darmi to accompany her to go to the market to sell the vegetables and get money to buy the beauty tool and new comb. Darmi was agreeing, provided her mother walked behind her. She ashamed to walk side by side with her mother who was wrinkled and wear a dirty clothes. Although her mother was very sad, she finally agreed. It. On the way to the market, everybody admired Darmi's beauty face and rich looking. Darmi's appearance was really constructed with the one walking behind her that it made people to wonder. Hello, pretty lady. Who is the woman behind you? Is that your mom? asked a man. No, she is not my mom. She is my servant. My mom is not ugly as her, answered Darmi with scornful intonation. The mother was very sad, but she didn't say anything. She could understand that her daughter was ashamed. Darmi always answered that her mother is her servant, to many people that asked it. At last, the mother cannot hold the pain anymore. She was very sad and wondering how could her own daughter did that to her. She prayed to God to punish her daughter. God answered her prayer. Slowly, Darmi's leg turned into stone. The process continued to the upper part of Darmi's body. She was very panicked and started to cry. Mom! What's happening to me? Mother, please help me. Please forgive me. She cried loudly. But it's too late. Her whole body finally became a big stone. Until now, people could see tears dropping from her eyes. That was why people called it the crying stone or batu menangis. Okay guys, I think that's all from me. Thank you for watching my video from beginning to end. From this story, we can learn a moral message that we shouldn't go against our parents and disobey them like Darmi did. You don't want to be a stone like Darmi, right? From now on, respect and appreciate your parents, no matter how they are, okay? The key to success lies with parents. That is all from me. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you.